So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. Welcome to my OnePlus 10 Pro 5G versus iPhone 13 Pro Max speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, one. Now every year when the new OnePlus device does come out, I do compare it to the latest iPhone as well as the Samsung device to see how fast it is. And I find that OnePlus's Oxygen OS is one of the most optimized Android software that's very fast for sure when you combine it with the latest CPU, which this one does have Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And you can see the iPhone is slightly faster to boot up, but the OnePlus only a hair behind, very close on the boot up. All right guys, so beginning with the biometrics with the OnePlus device, you can just simply look at the phone and it unlocks with the face. You can set it up to where it doesn't just bypass the lock screen, but you can see incredibly fast there. In addition, their new ultra thin fingerprint sensor is even more accurate than ever before. So a very fast way to get into that OnePlus 10 Pro. Now in terms of speed, the iPhone is incredibly quick as well, unlocking almost immediately, but there's no option to bypass the lock screen. So I would argue that the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G is slightly faster to get into the phone. In addition, you now have the ability to unlock with a mask on the Face ID. And if you're wearing a mask with the OnePlus, of course, you can just use the fingerprint sensor. So getting into these phones is not too hard on either, but slightly quicker on the OnePlus 10 Pro. All right, guys, so everything is closed out on both phones. Let's see how they run in terms of these apps. So we'll begin with Calendar. You can see slightly faster on the Apple Calendar. We'll go into Calculator, and I'm just using all the stock apps that come here on the phones. That might have been OnePlus. We'll go into Clock. That one was OnePlus. We'll go into Weather. That one was OnePlus. We'll head up out of here. We'll go into Instagram. And I could tell you, unlike my S22 Ultra, that one's the iPhone, Unlike my S22 Ultra, the OnePlus is smooth right off the start. There's no choppy scrolling that I experienced when I first got my S22 Ultra. And I'm not saying it's a better phone. I'm just saying that right out of the box, they made sure this thing is smooth. So it's very smooth right from the start. We'll go into Twitter. Not saying it doesn't have bugs. I'm just saying it's not slow. It's got no choppiness to it. We'll go over here to profile. Looks like the OnePlus 10 Pro is faster here on Twitter. We'll go into Groupon. And in years past, the OnePlus had faster animations than the iPhone. So I wouldn't be surprised here. The iPhone winning it out there on Groupon for sure. I still find even though the OnePlus is a fast Android phone that the scrolling is still smoother on the iPhone applications. So I'm not sure a lot of the apps on Android actually got updated for all these new 120 Hertz displays. By the way, these both actually feature the same display tech, LTPO2, so one to 120 hertz adaptive refreshes, and the iPhone much faster there on ESPN. That could have been my internet though, but I'm not giving any excuses. That's the iPhone on that one. We'll go into Amazon, and I like the OnePlus on that one. I think it took that one there. We'll head up out of there. We'll go into eBay, and eBay faster on the left for sure. So I think if you want an Android phone that's about as smooth as an iPhone, OnePlus should be definitely one you consider. You can see right there, OnePlus wins that out. I actually think it's closer to the iPhone in speed than like a Samsung phone, which is more feature packed, but sometimes can get a little bit choppy in the animations because there's so much going on. Let's go into PUBG Mobile. And this one already starting out, maybe because I had to load that game stuff, but already starting out faster for the iPhone here. And I tested this beforehand and I found the iPhone winning it out still on some of these games. That doesn't mean I win everyone, but the iPhone quicker here to ro load up PUBG, which takes a little bit more power than other games. We'll X this out here, but not too far behind is the OnePlus. I did find that the iPhone stayed a little bit cooler under heavier usage, but again, it's also a thicker phone. OnePlus is gonna lose it out on that one. Let's go to Dead Trigger 2. And you can see that's the iPhone again. It's the same thing. We'll hit play on both of them now and we'll see which one can get in first. And OnePlus gets in the game first. Again, being that they're both large, nice OLED displays, 
and they're both super smooth 120 hertz it's going to be a great experience when you're in the game now you'll notice that the oneplus device does stretch a little bit more there's no notch so you could argue that's a better experience but it does curve so some people like flat displays this could be a better experience for you there's also a narrower display keep that in mind we'll go to asphalt 9 it's a 20 by 9 display this one is a 16 uh, 1959 so a little bit wider display on the iPhone, a little bit more narrow, but taller on the OnePlus feels like. So you could see OnePlus in there first on Asphalt 9. And I've seen this happen before, Asphalt 9 load open first on Samsung phones. So I'm not really surprised here. So some games better optimized for Android, some better optimized for the Apple device. Let's head out of there. We'll go into Crossy Road. And you can see Crossy Road, just a basic casual game here. I'm gonna load first here for the OnePlus over the iPhone. So let's go into 3D Mark. If you thought the iPhone was just going to blow this phone away, you had to think again. So iPhone did win that one out there on 3D Mark. We'll go into Premiere Rush and you can see Premiere Rush does load first here for the iPhone. So definitely faster on the iPhone on that one. I find that some apps open first on the OnePlus, some open first on the iPhone. I think a lot of stuff is further along and more optimized for this phone right here. So I would say the iPhone still feels a little bit more polished, a little bit more refined, but the OnePlus very fast for an alternative option here. And maybe even an alternative option to something like a Pixel or a Samsung, you do have a very fast and fluid, you know, Oxygen OS. And this is one of the reasons a lot of people buy this device, but Apple still standing strong with their very well optimized iOS, very fast, liquid smooth, and that ridiculously quick A15 Bionic chipset in there. All right, so now, now all I'm gonna do is see, do we get any app reloads here when we go through these applications? Can both phones hold everything? And I only have the eight gig of RAM version of the OnePlus 10 Pro here. We do have six gigs of RAM on the iPhone, so it's still more than that, but looks like we have a reload on Asphalt 9 here for this phone right here. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2 and we're getting a reload there on that one. That's pretty lame. We'll go into PUBG and that one was open. So I wonder why those two reloaded. We'll go into YouTube, reload there for the OnePlus, Starbucks, eBay, Amazon, reloading up there on the OnePlus. We'll go into ESPN. So yeah, they probably need an update here as well uh, to get the optimization down getting some reloads on the oneplus device which is kind of shocking considering it has eight gigs of ram we're going to weather here and clock but one thing i noticed is the animations are just butter on the oneplus compared to some other android phones i've complained about it before how they just don't look as smooth as the iphone if you're looking for animations that look as smooth as the iphone this is gonna be one of those Android phones to take a hard look at. All right, so in the internet browsers, OnePlus defaults to the Google Chrome. Over here you have Safari, both very smooth, both very fast. Let's go ahead and go to apple.com here. So you can see right here, both at apple.com. Let's go ahead and hit go. And you can see OnePlus faster on Apple's own website. So you're gonna have great browsing experience on either of these phones. Now also with the 120 Hertz, you have no major issues when it comes to scrolling. As a matter of fact, they both look almost identically the same. So if you're looking for that, you can get that. Now also, just to note, you can also change the way it transitions here on Oxygen OS if you want some of those different transitions. But other than that, very smooth on both phones. I wanna go ahead now and run a 3D Mark Wildlife Benchmark. We're just gonna do the regular test here. Let me go ahead and download that and I'll be back when these are done with their test. All right, so here's our final wildlife scores here for 3D Mark. And you can see that the OnePlus has done it. They have outbenched the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 9,733 on the wildlife test, 9,737, with an average frame rate of just a hair quicker of 58.5 versus 58.3 you almost never see this so the oneplus can score better than 98 percent of devices the iphone can score better than 97 that's insane but i'm not really surprised because when the games come on they have like this high performance thing where it kind of like ups the performance in gaming so you will have good gaming now also the iphone definitely can get uh very quick in its frame rates it can stay between 45 and 61 but this one averaged between 38 and 74 so it was actually lower Hold on, let me go back. It was actually lower on its lower frame rate, so it can look a little choppier sometimes. But overall, I gotta say, man, this is really pretty impressive for the OnePlus 
10 Pro. And for the Geekbench scores, the iPhone way ahead here. You can see a much higher multi-core score, much higher single core score. Not bad for an Android phone over there on the OnePlus, but still you're gonna have to give it here to the iPhone for that CPU performance. I still think the iPhone technically has a more powerful CPU, but the OnePlus is not bad in the gaming. You've seen it in the 3D Mark. It could definitely do some really good frame rates and stuff like that. And the last thing I wanna go ahead and test here is the camera launch speed because we always want to launch our cameras and these two stove top light cameras let me know if you guys want to see a comparison between those two they look quite similar let's go ahead hold on what am i doing let's go ahead and click the cameras in three two one you can see the one plus a little bit faster there let's go ahead and close them out and let's try it again one two go one plus a little faster there on the camera let's go ahead and take a photo three two go and three two go one more time three two go so overall iphone looks to have a little bit of a faster shutter speed and i found that sometimes it takes a little time for it to process the photo on the oneplus but camera launch time is very good on that phone as well you can also do this on the oneplus to get into the phone double click that home button which you can turn that off and on in settings for this phone in addition to that with the iphone you can just kind of swipe like this or go like that or you can just swipe off to the left like that to get in so they both have fast ways to get into their devices but overall in the real world both of these are very very fast phones and there's not a big issue i will say the oneplus because it's it's still pre-release it doesn't come out till april there are a few apps that are crashing but that doesn't mean yours will have any app crashes when it comes officially available they still have time we're still in the pre-order stages but the iphone 13 pro max with its latest versions of ios 15.4 very liquid smooth extremely fast cpu stays very cool to the touch but both of these are going neck and neck and it's really hard to pick a straight winner yes the iphone does have the technically more powerful cpu but in some areas the oneplus is faster so it's really down to do you want oxygen os or ios here let me know your thoughts down below what else you want to see going forward with the oneplus 10 pro it is the newer phone here on the table and i will catch you all in the very next episode thank you very much for watching nick here be sure to be well and peace